Hey guys, um, I've done their side now. Um, it took about 30 minutes, but that is because I, as I was taking them out, I dropped them, so basically I had to redo the whole place. Um, and yeah, obviously I had to disinfect it too. And they are very keen to help me clean it out, so I have to lock, I had to lock them outside. These guys generally stay out of the way, but I should probably let them back in now. Um, yeah, they tend to spend most of their time in here. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, be willing to put in that extra time, because there is no way you can guarantee whether your rabbit's going to be litter trained or not. Um, these guys came from a breeder and that. Um, they were the breeders. So, they were probably used to just putting all over their hutch and stuff. So, yeah, obviously, if you get it from a rescue, you will know whether they're litter trained or not, but they can always stop deciding to be litter trained. But yeah, so be ready to put that extra time. So I'm going to start with what you're going to need in the actual hutch. So first of all, you're going to need water bottles or a water bowl like that. I've got like that to stop dripping, not as an actual bowl. They prefer bottles, but it's much easier to keep it clean and hygienic in a bottle. You're going to need a bowl. If you've got two, you want a big one so they can't fight, or one that's separated into two sections um, so they don't fight. Them two are very food aggressive, so I've given them that. You're going to want treats. I've got a bit of a meadow hay cookie here. I've got a Toblerone bar, and in the middle is treats, so it makes it difficult for them to get to. They've got a treat ball. To be honest, they don't have many normal toys um, that don't involve food. So yeah, um, I've actually got loads of money, so um, I'm going to be doing a big order online. So I'll show you guys that. Um, they've got a cover box to go in and jump on. That's one of their big favourites. They've got their litter tray. Um, another litter tray. They have got this with a treat in the middle. They love these, and they're really cheap, obviously. Um, just got their mat. They've got this giant tissue paper tube with hay in. Usually I give them the small ones, but I finished my tissue paper roll, so I had the big one in the middle. Um, I've got some wood chews, some sort of blueberry thing, and um, not sure. So yeah, that's it, basically. You need a water bottle, food, toys um these guys don't have anything soft because they um they um like tend to pee on it and i'm trying to litter train them but yeah these guys do have it because they're not as bad they've got their tunnel newspaper ball food and water hay chair for me to sit on more hay and yeah that's it so that's what they're going to need in that enclosure I guess I'd call it or hutch or cage so yeah bye okay so that's pretty much everything inside the cage obviously you don't need to go as far as I've gone I just like to keep them entertained with lots of different toys and stuff so I'm going to start on to things you're going to need outside the cage for cleaning supplies you're going to need tissue paper um, I'm not sure where this is from but it's my mum uses them for a cap and they're really cheap it's a huge roll it lasts about two months, um, but yeah, these are really useful for when you're wiping up any pee, wiping up disinfectant, and stuff like that. You've got this Kana hutching cage cleaner, which I use for these guys for where they pee to stop it smelling like pee. And I also use it once a week for the other guy's side. Um, yeah, um, after this is run out, I'm probably just going to mix my own vinegar and water because I didn't realise you could do that. Um, I think that's it for cleaning cage supplies. I don't really have a lot. Obviously, I just use my dustpan and brush to sweep up. And yeah. And then obviously you've got food. Um, obviously, if you are wanting to get a guinea pig, you'll get guinea pig food. This has only got a little bit left. 
and um, someone did say about pellets having less fibre and um, Chloe Marie 19 something but I can't remember her name um, she's on the same forum and she said that they didn't have as much protein and I always thought they did have as much protein but I looked up and actually they don't so yeah don't listen to me get pellets not that they, that isn't as healthy so I got these um, I think they're Alps, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, I've got these now. They're much better in fibre. So, a good pellet mix. Um, yeah, better, they've got better fibre content. And I think that's it. Feed them um, that much per pair. Egg cups will be useful to give them the right amount of their pellets. So yeah, you'll need food obviously. And then you've got the veggies. You've got green pepper, kale, carrots. At the moment, I've run out. I need to get some. Might go to the pet shop today and buy her some new toys and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I've got my books which I read on my chair. I also just watch them a lot. You've got treats obviously optional there's all their treats sorry this is so long by the way I talk a lot um, I'm probably not going to do another video today because this is so long and I'm going to holiday on ice later so yeah also if you wanted a how to change the litter trays or how to litter train your rabbit I can do that so please request um, thank you to UK KVs for requesting too you trying to get your treats, Ted? Yeah, so as you can see, it keeps them entertained for a while, trying to get the treats out. To be honest, most of the things that don't include treats are pretty useless. Go for anything that involves food. That's the only thing that motivates my guys. If your buns are motivated by strokes and stuff. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> okay, next on to this random bits and bobs thing. I've got a coat in case it's cold. Which I'm going to put over there. I've got. Okay. I actually don't know what's in here, so. It'll be a bit of a surprise for me. What's that? Um, glove hats. In case I need them. Spare water bottle. Spare food dish, which is really dirty at the moment. Um, wooden shoes. More of them. Hay cookies. More treats. Healthy treats. Scissors, always useful when doing modifying cardboard boxes and things. And I'm trying to get cut open packets. And then I've got this. It may sound a bit gross, but when poo gets stuck on the floor, I kind of scrape it and it comes off really easily with this. So yeah. Um, then I've got all their grooming things, which are very useful, which I use every day. So yeah, that's all in there. Okay, so that's everything I have for my bunnies. And what you'll need obviously i've gone over the top probably too much so you won't need this much but i spend a lot of money on them and i'm also going to do a video showing you what i've got want to order them on a site because i've got loads of christmas money and i want to spend it on these guys and um, yeah so that's if you want a rabbit i hope you this video was helpful um and it also shows uh like where i keep all my stuff my dad built this shelf so that's useful um yeah I keep most of my stuff just on here it's not very organised but still so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um thanks for watching please subscribe um yeah bye